Welcome to your market update charts of the day. We're approaching the midpoint of the Asian session on the 9th of May. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in what looks like a little bit of a soft day all round in financial markets. Let's have a look at the news. Of course, overnight we saw US equities relatively soft. We did see the Dow being the only index closing positive territory, posting its sixth successive day of gains. Evidence of some sector rotation, perhaps earnings. Still coming in across the wise pretty well. Rate cut hopes remain despite some hawkish Fed member comments. US futures and near neutral in early Asian trading Asian equity markets following that weak US lead from last night. ASX is over 1% lower and trading towards the lows of the session. And European futures are also pointing to a cautious open this afternoon. US dollar index closed slightly higher, but not significantly so. So we're seeing a lot of assets trade within ranges gold in between 2300 and 2330 copper still holding over 450 and oil held as well after the recent drop earlier in the week bitcoin edged downwards again still in a range but retesting 60,000 potentially and chinese trade balance bank of england rate decision and us weekly jobs law due today on top of more earnings of course a couple of charts at core ri today on the ASX, on what is a really poor day, we are seeing some buying continuing to Austral. We see that move yesterday up to this key level at 250. Look as though we could breach it in today's trading. Worthwhile checking in on this in the last hour. Around about 9% of the upside to the next resistance level uh, that you can see on the weekly chart. So one to keep an eye on, certainly. Uh, the Euro Yen, I'll put it on a four-hour chart just so you can see the bigger picture. You can see this battering of this 167.32 level on the four hourly chart we just take that out a bit you can see the significance of this we think there's possibly a move up around about 35 pips in the first instance possibly if we get some momentum behind it even up to 168 as a potential level so that is also one to keep an eye on but again we're going to be patient until we see that 167.32 breached Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.